Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to play with a whole bunch of new makeup. It's pretty much all new Revolution makeup and then just a couple of things that I've used for a while. So a couple old favorites and then a bunch of new Revolution stuff. We have a new primer, a new foundation, a new concealer, a new eyeshadow palette. Um, I have some new lashes. The lashes are not Revolution, uh, but you'll see those in later in the video. A new contour palette, a new highlight because it's a contour and highlight palette. Lots of new stuff. A new lip, definitely Shannon approved. All right, we're going to go ahead and jump into this tutorial this testing video i hope you guys like it if you guys enjoy videos like this be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments so i continue making videos like this for you yeah i think that's everything i love you guys so much let's get in to this video please subscribe if you haven't already i upload videos every monday wednesday friday let's do this all right loves let's jump in let's jump in Okay, I have moisturized my face. That's all I have done. I have just used the Super Hydrate from e.l.f. I really like this one. It's a good one. Nice and hydrated. We are going to start with this guy. This is the Fix and Glow Ultra Glow Primer from Revolution. We're going to have a ton of new Revolution products. I probably already said that in the beginning of this video, but lots of new Revolution to try out. Oh, I didn't even open this one at all. She brand, brand new. Couldn't decide what to film and then I remembered I had all of this new Revolution stuff that I picked up. I normally prefer a sticky base or like a pore filling base so normally uh, the, like a glowy primer isn't really my thing. I love a lot of glow but I love it strategically placed if that makes sense but this one says glow and fix so I'm hoping it's glowy and fix buoy. Oh, she's glowy. So I'm just gonna rub this in. Okay, so far it just looks pretty standard for a glowy primer. I'm gonna give it just a second to let it set in and then we're gonna go straight in with foundation. All right, love, so this is the new foundation from Revolution. This is the Conceal and Glow, I believe. Yeah, Conceal and Glow. My favorite foundation of all time is the Revolution Seal and Define foundation from Revolution, the OG original one. I don't mind their other, let's see, what's the other version of it? It's the Hydrate one. I'm hoping that I'll like the glow. I don't know. So this one is a little bit darker than my skin right now. I am back to my 100% fair, fair self. I do self tan sometimes. Um, it's been, a, I've been doing it a lot lately. I just, I just like how it looks. This one is in F2. So this is kind of my in-between shade because most often I am in between. Uh, but we're going to see. Because of these lights, I might be able to get away with this because it makes it look lighter. This is a Real Techniques sponge. I do really like this one. If you don't want to order from Shop Massey, the Real Techniques one is really great. But of course you could get multiple ones of this guy to equal this one. Uh, but it's still a really good one and you can just walk in any drugstore and get it. And it's still like a third of the price of a beauty blender. A booty bender. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and pop this guy on. I think we're gonna be okay. Let's see. Oh, she is glowy, girl. Let's see if it holds that glow. That's some nice coverage for a glowy foundation. That is some nice coverage. Not that I'm surprised by any means. All up in there. Let's do the other side. It's got a decent amount of coverage, but it is a little bit more natural, which makes sense. It's not as blurring as Conceal and Define. So if you don't love the full coverage look of Conceal and Define, uh, you might like this one. I honestly, per usual, I, I just love Conceal and Define. I love the blurring effects of it on the skin. This one, you can still see your skin texture, but you do get a decent amount of coverage. I will get in close so you guys can see it. We will do a wear test another day. I'm starting way too late today. It's like three o'clock. From when I'm not like staring at the mirror this close, I really, really, really like it. It feels really natural. Oh, this is what it looks like with the lights on. I feel like I need more coverage on my nose. I feel like it's not really staying on my nose, but I normally put concealer on my nose anyway. Put the light down. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into concealer. I think we're gonna be okay with that shade. This one, weird. This like this feels lighter than my Conceal and Define F2. I love this packaging though. How gorgeous is that lid? It's very bougie. This looks expensive. We're also gonna try a new concealer. This is the Revolution Ultimate Radiant Under Eye Concealer. This is the new one from Revolution Pro. Hoping this will have decent coverage. Super glowy. When I swatched it, I really, really liked it. A little trick that you can do, I'm sure you guys know this, want a concealer to have a little bit more coverage, just let it set for a minute. I think I'm actually going to do a cream contour while this sets for just a minute. I'm gonna do a little bit of cream contouring just with Conceal and Define Concealer in 12.5 from Revolution. So I'm going to blend out this contour real quick. 
This sponge isn't really ideal for blending it out. I like how it blends with the Chamasse sponge more personally. Yeah, it really should be blending this concealer now. So I'm going to go in and blend that. A little on the lid. Ooh, ooh, that glow. Oh, girl. Girl, so much more than I expected. I'm just such a concealer snob. Okay, I'm gonna get in close so you guys can see this. I haven't said it yet or anything. There is the concealer. Keep in mind, I do put quite a bit on, so concealer. I do have some texture under my eyes. I think pretty much every person ever has texture under their eyes. Um, that's pretty. I'm gonna set my face with the e.l.f. Halo Glow. I forgot for a second. I'm gonna set my face with the e.l.f. Halo Glow setting powder. I'm gonna do my under eyes. I don't, this isn't my favorite under eye powder, but it's definitely doing the job. So crazy, until this powder, I literally would not set my face. Now I'm obsessed. I forgot I had a new contour. Oh, I'm so excited. So we are gonna use this chocolate contour bar. I got mine in fair, of course. I'm just gonna use this brush from Shop Miss A. I always try, I'm trying more, cause I normally will just go Trying to start back here a little more because I always go so heavy handed. It's easier to blend from that point. Out. Okay, I like it a lot. It smells amazing. We will use this highlighter later, I think. See, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows really quick off camera. I'm just gonna use the soap styler. Mine looks real nasty. She lives in my makeup bag, I'm obsessed with this. And then I'm just gonna use this Tarte Emphasize for brows, brow pencil. I'm just trying to use it up. Um, it's a good one though. It's just more expensive than I normally like to spend on a brow pencil, not gonna lie. This is a really good one. So I'm gonna use these guys. I'll be right back. All right, brows are on, we are back. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my lids. We're gonna use this guy. I've used it once before. I really like it. It's the ultimate eye base, again, from Revolution. This is what it looks like. I got mine in light. I'm gonna blend it out with a sponge. I feel like it's faster and it makes it more even. All right, we're gonna move on to palettes. I think I'm gonna use this guy today because I am way too excited. This palette is so gorgeous. This is the Forever Flawless Affinity Palette from Revolution. Look at this, look at this. We're gonna do a very, I'm sensing a very Shannon look today. Um, this light champagne kind of shade. Oh, there's so many beautiful shades in here though. These ones, when you swatch them, you can then kind of see the color shift in the, oh my gosh, look at that. Look at these. So stinking gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm excited. Girl. Okay. I am going to start with this shade, which, what are you? Loyal. Uh, because I got to. I got to. It's just calling my name. I am going to kind of tap it at first to minimize fallout and get the color really distributed. I'm actually going to do that on both eyes. And then blend. My director's here. Director, how was your day? Are we doing okay? Do you approve? I think he approves. I'm gonna go with this shade really quick right here on my brow bone because I don't want to get too dark, too dark of color up there. And since my base is still tacky, it wants to pull all the way up there. So I'm just gonna pop that guy under the brow to set it. I thought about doing like a pumpkin-y look today, a super halloween -y look today, but I just was feeling this. Okay, I'm gonna take that same shade Loyal and pop it underneath the eye, my lower lash line. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of depth to the outer corner and use this shade, which is Connect. So I feel like this is gonna be a very boring look, very much true to me, but we're gonna do it anyway, because it sounds like a good time. Mm 
I'm gonna bring it in pretty far. Feeling a little drama today. I'm gonna use that same shade on the lower lash line a little bit, just on the outer corner. I feel like it's not blending. That darker shade I feel like isn't blending as well as the first one. I know you guys are shocked, but I'm gonna do a cut crease and I'm gonna use that eye base one more time. Okay, I think I'm gonna go in with something first and then the glitter. Oh, that glitter is so good though. Yes, okay, now I have it on my finger. So I'm gonna go in, I think with, I think I wanna use Attraction, this pink right here, with the kind of duochrome on top of it. That is, look at it, look at it. If there's anything under my nails, I apologize. Look at it though. Oh Lord, have you, have you ever? That's with no glitter. That's just the shadow. It's like duochromey, beautiful. Oh my goodness. Look at it. Look at it. Dang. I'm gonna put a little of this glitter on top because it's on my fingertip. Hi. Hi, handsome. Wow. I'm impressed. Now I got glitter all up, all over. All over because he bumped my hand. So now I gotta put glitter all up, all over, over here. Cause we're taking a snuggle break. Are we, are we taking a snuggle break? You can't, you wanna knock everything on the floor and mom doesn't, you just, you put my elf hydrator in the garbage. Head. I'm gonna do liner so <laughs> I'm way off frame but that's fine uh, Banks is sitting down here so I don't want to move my chair I'm going to start with the black liner on my under eye which is the ColourPop creme gel liner in swerve I'm just gonna put a little over here and blend it out and then I'm gonna do my wing I always like to map out my wing with the physicians formula eye booster pen and ultra black but then I like to add the elf h2 proof eyeliner pen because this one gives more precision but this one's blacker I have them both so I use them both you don't need both but I have them and I like them together. So I use them together, okay? Definitely not necessary. Okay, I'm just gonna take a little over here. Buff it. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my first liner. I'm gonna kind of speed through this because I never get a good angle and everyone's eyes are different. Really, if you, I have winged liner tutorials on my channel, but really how you're gonna get there is just by practicing on your personal eye shape over and over and over and over again. Uh, just try and practice every day or on your days off or whatever you, you know? All right, we're gonna pop on some lashes. My friend Anna, I feel like I talk about her all the time. We're not even like, she probably is like, girl, I'm not even your friend, but maybe I'm just obsessed with her. Uh, she always has the cutest lashes in the world. And I finally asked her, I was like, girl, where are those lashes from? And she said, Amazon. Uh, these are the lashes. I will link them down below. They are Design E. I think the link will bring you to a multiple ones, but they're E. Um, if you look at them closely, you can kind of see that they will look the same. Look how gorgeous those are. They are so fluffy. This pack was about eight bucks, which really isn't bad. That's like not much more at all than Chamisee lashes. And these look gorgeous, so I'm excited. I hope that they look good on my eyes like they look on hers. I've obviously never used these, but she said that she wears hers multiple times and they work good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go pop these on and I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, loves, I'm back. Luna has joined us. We have both Luna and Binks. Uh, these lashes, look at, look at this. They like literally cover my entire lid because I have hooded lids, but I'm gonna rock them anyway because they're gorgeous. Um, they are so curled, which I feel like is rare in lashes these days. They like stand straight up, it's amazing. All right, here we are. Let's do some blush and some highlight and a lip. We'll be good to go. Actually, let's do an inner corner highlight. I think I'm actually gonna use the same shade that we used on my lid without obviously the chunky glitter. A little on the brow bone, 
little brow bone. I might still need my little shot my say. I know it's pretty bright. Not as bright, but I guess it'll do. So pretty. It's like a pink with a green duochrome. Oh, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I don't have a new blush to try that I can think of, so I'm gonna go with my tried and true. This is the Lumi blush in Ravish from Shop Miss A. She's looking rough with this new, this new. It's my perfect everyday blush that goes with literally any look. Whether I'm wearing barely any makeup or all the makeup, just a little, just a little, with the pop pop. Okay, we're gonna go back into this guy and we're gonna try this little highlight. Oh, it's just like a nice white. Wow, yeah, that's a nice white highlight. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go, and I am going to kind of buff it. I always lay it down and then I buff it out. I'm gonna kind of bring it up to the brow. It is not glittery or anything. It is just a nice white shimmery highlight. I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips. I'm just gonna use this Bella Pierre Cinnamon Lip Liner. This lip liner is getting a little chunky. It's not even that old, but I guess it's a little bit old. This is one of the Friends in Revolution lipstick collaboration. This one is Rachel. Do I want to? I think I want to put a little concealer on. Not a ton, just a little bit. It just brightens up the lip a little bit. All right, so we're just going to pop on a little bit of Joey, also from the Friends collection. It's like the perfect pinky nude. It smells like coconut. All right, love, so that is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this so far. I really do like everything. Oh, I feel like I'm get, looking a little, a little more tan. I think it is starting to get a little darker. Um, shoot, so far so good. I really am enjoying everything. That palette is absolutely beautiful. Give you another close up. This is what we are looking at with all of the makeup on. Oh my gosh, these lashes, you guys. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. All right, I will see you guys in a little bit. Like it. If you like videos like this, be too much spit mouth. If you enjoy videos like this, be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know so I continue creating my recording. Okay, so I normally prefer, I said that really high pitched. I probably have a mustache, so don't judge me. <sighs> I have to go get my powder. It's not the worst when you just forget one thing. I'll try and do something a little bit different, uh, but hi. Fun glitter on my eyeball, baby. Hi, honey, I'm busy. Sit down, please. You are, you are so, so pushy, child. Look <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna pop the bit, oh, I can speak. Little poopity poopity, schnippity schnappity. Not glitter, glitter, oh. 